Hello, I'm back. This is Christy from 52 Hider 3D, and I've got 15 minutes in which to show you how to put a sign on a TARDIS. Um, we probably don't need this amount of time at all, but then again, we might. So let's get started on how we're going to do this because I'm not really sure how we're going to do this. So, first, we want to just unwrap all these um, little these faces there so uh, just unwrap them Does that work no idea anyway so let's load in the images so open image I'll put these up on my Facebook page so we've got police box label okay let's unwrap those again is all the uh, Scaling okay, okay. Mm. Um, okay, so let's unwrap project from view. Can you do this? Project from view. No, nope, that doesn't seem to work. Project from view bounds. That works better. And then this one, unwrap project from view bounds. Unwrap project from view. Bounds. Have we done that one? No, I think that's all of them there. So, oh no, I haven't done that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so now we've got all these. Let's select them all. And work out what on earth we're supposed to be doing here let's go into the node editor because that's where we're going to have to be doing most of the stuff and right might be best if we give this these sections a new material just to keep everything simple select TARDIS blue from the list and then press what do you press? Um, that's weird. Clear out that and just make a new material. Call it blue blue with sign. Okay. We should be able to can I just copy all these? No, nothing that easy. Let's try just choosing TARDIS blue again, but we can't. Ah, okay, we need to click the plus button. Ah, okay. So rename this TARDIS blue with with sign and assign it to these faces. So, now what? Let's go into render view and see what they are. If we add in a input image texture, is there an image somewhere? Should be able to put in an image texture. Camera data, value, RGB, attribute, geometry, light path, object, image, sensor. That's weird. Ah, texture, image texture. It's in there for some reason. Okay. We can put in that and choose police box label from the list. But now, unfortunately, we, although that seems to work rather well, we have this. Let's see how this works. Ah, I think this is how we would it. So we need to scale this up like that, do we? Maybe scale it down like that. No, I think I've overdone it a bit. <laughs> um,
Okay, so that's no, it's nowhere near the right sort of size. So let's <laughs> go out of uh, rendered mode and just try doing it here for now. So let's scale that right in. Uh, I think that's going to be something more like it. So go into rendered mode now. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. I think we're going to do a really nice and simple way of doing the sign. And that involves simply insetting all these faces. See what I've done there? Let me undo that and just yeah, get them inset properly. Okay, so now let's select everything, unwrap, and reset. So that, and then just select these faces. we go into material view I think it shows us yes it does so it will show us what we need to do and that's looking pretty good Let's see what we've got there so how much time have we got seven minutes plenty of time so now we just need to select all these outer bits and assign them with TARDIS blue again Up. see what it looks like in rendered view looks alright but um, if I'm right I think the uh, don't they light up the police box sign lights up doesn't it so let's try lighting it up now let's see what we've got here We've got a mix shader and with a glossy shader. So let's get rid of the glossy and add a emission shader. If we go to the preview, we can see it rendering real time. Okay, so drop that into the mix shader. And let's put the color, the image texture, into the strength of the emission. Uh, if we put in a converter math we can do a multiply on this. Like that. And that's looking quite nice. It now emits from the police box sign. Go in rendered view and that's looking very good indeed. I think maybe they just need a slight bit of tweaking in terms of getting them just right. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so that's looking very good. One more thing you can do, um, of course, there's the sign on the the front door uh, and we can add that in if you want I'll just go over this very quickly you should work it, be able to work out how to do it because it's very similar to the other one
and there that looks pretty good so let's just give this a render um, we haven't put in any background or anything but I don't think we really need to you can should be able to work that out for yourself um, so let's give this a render get it just in the right place first and yeah and hit render oh, need to turn up the samples a bit go 50 And there we go, that's the finished model. Looks quite nice, it doesn't look hyper realistic, but then we haven't added any textures to anything um, apart from these bits. Um, and there isn't very much detailing, but you can stick that in later. Um, this is just a starting point for you. So thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to like me on Facebook at 52Hydro3D, subscribe to this channel. Keep an eye out for other tutorials and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be continuing the sci-fi series soon with probably something from Star Wars, probably a TIE fighter. Uh, so I'll have to work out how to build one of those and then probably after that something from Stargate. But I haven't thought of what I can do for that. I've got a few ideas, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Until the TIE fighter tutorial. Bye.